What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. An exciting day for the Samsung Galaxy phone users here in India as well as in Poland. Samsung has started rolling out the official One UI 8.5 Beta 2 here in India. This is basically the Beta 1 here in India, but of course it's the Beta 2 in the US and a few other countries where uh, the Beta program was started. So officially this is the Beta 2. And I have been on the Beta 1, the unofficial version of One UI 8.5. I had sideloaded this build on the Galaxy S25 Ultra and I've been using it. The first build itself was fantastic. I've already shared all the new features about One UI 8.5. If you want to know all about it, I will be adding those features in this video as well. So stay tuned, keep watching this video. Now before we go ahead with the features, let me first show you how you can enroll yourself to the beta program. Go to Samsung Members application. Right there you will see beta program banner. Just tap on this and you'll be able to see an option to join the beta program. Just tap on join and you're good to go. As soon as you join, you can go to the settings application and uh, scroll all the way down, tap on software update and tap on download and install. Now, since I was on beta one, the unofficial version, it is showing me one UI 8.5 already, but you will be seeing the older menu. So you can go ahead and tap on download and install. You will be able to get the update. Now here, let me tap on check for update. It's a pretty cool page. Now we have, as you can see, we have got this image over here and then we have got the change log. The version is one UI 8.5 ZYLF. Now since this is beta 2, I've got a different change log here. If you're downloading here in India and Poland, you will be seeing the entire change log with all the new features. Now if you're residing in US, UK, Germany and a couple of more countries, you will see this page. You can see there are a lot of uh, improvements here. Improve the issue of initializing quick panel settings when booting intermittently. Improvement of errors such as quick panel menu, screen, icon, spacing, location, etc. Improve the issue of photos organized into gallery group folders being moved to the first album page. Improve the stuttering issue when pressing the more view menu during call. Improve rebooting issue while leaving it intermittently. Improve the issue that the volume up button does not work under certain conditions. Improve the issue of sound generation in the device when making a call with Bluetooth car kit connection under certain conditions. Improvement of issues that are forcibly terminated while using multiple third party applications. Stabilization of software through multiple app updates such as cameras. So uh, I don't see any new features mentioned here in beta 2. It's all the bug fixes. Let me scroll down here. As you can see the size is 1143.17 MB for the beta 2 and the December security patch is here and this version is ZYLH. So this is all about beta 2 if you are living in the US and a few other countries where you have just got this new update. And here in India and Poland, you will get a different change log with all the brand new features. Now let me go ahead and restart the device. I've already downloaded the update and uh, it is already installed. Once we restart it, let's check how is the phone performing. This is a fantastic update compared to One UI 7 or One UI 8 because Samsung did work on the One UI 7's base and the One UI 8 and made this UI very smooth with loads of new features and aesthetic changes. All right, now the phone has been restarted. The latest version of One UI 8.5, the beta 2 has been installed on the device. Let's quickly open a few applications and see how it is working. If there is any lags or status, let's find out. Let's start with calculator, reminder, gallery, calendar, clock. Let's go to the recent application. You can see it is just amazing. It's very smooth. It works flawlessly without any issues. Let me close all of them. Let's open the quick panel. There was a slight stutter here, maybe because it just got restarted a couple of minutes ago. Let me try this again. Yeah, it's working fine now. Let's open the notification panel. No issues whatsoever here. I already have a few notifications and I don't see any issues here. And a quick panel here. Let's switch between these. No issues at all. Now on the camera application, we did lose a couple of features. Let's see if those features are back. Let me open the camera, tap on more. No, we still do not have those two features. Let me show you what features I'm talking about. This is the S24 Ultra. I'll open the camera application, tap on more. You can see the dual recording and single take feature are still missing on the One UI 8.5. And if they don't add it back, many Samsung Galaxy fans will be disappointed because the dual recording and single take are two fantastic features, the camera features, which have been there on One UI, but now on One UI 8.5, 
On beta 1 as well as beta 2, I don't see these two features. Let's hope Samsung brings these features back. I'm sure if they are sane, they would be bringing it back very soon. And apart from that, we don't see any new features in the camera application. And if I find any new features on beta 2, I will get back to you guys. Now it's time you check out all the brand new features that we have got on the One UI 8.5. Watch the complete video. There are some fantastic features with One UI 8.5. We have got a brand new user interface which has streamlined the menu options in floating capsule design at the bottom of every application like gallery, clock, calendar, reminder and even the settings menu search bar is smaller now and goes with the other applications. And the menu itself looks much cleaner and smoother to use. And there are some tweaks in the animation makes the UI more fluid than before. Some of the menu options have been revamped like the battery section gets these beautiful bars, device care looks cool digital well-being looks very pretty with well-organized data and look at those gradient colors look beautiful isn't it and then comes the software update page which has this simple glowing effect which can be seen across many applications such as voice recorder reminder my files etc the icons have been improved with a bit of a depth effect to them overall the look and feel of one ui 8.5 has been improved and it feels fantastic to use the quick panel now offers deeper customizations like we can now resize the toggles to circle, small capsule or a large capsule, placing them horizontally or vertically. Adding additional control has completely changed and it is easier than before. When it comes to screen recording, we can now partially record the screen. The pop-up will give you two options, full screen or partial screen. You can select partial screen and start recording and select the area that you want to record. We've got a brand new advanced photo assist feature now. We can create images without any interruptions. Let's say if you delete a specific object on an image instead of saving them we can now edit continuously we can just tap on keep editing option and tap on save copy on the top right corner to access the history if you're sending a photo files on quick share it can now recognize the people in the photos and suggest sending the images directly to them this makes sharing faster and simpler. We've got a brand new feature called Storage Share, which makes file management across devices seamless. Users can access files from other Galaxy devices, including tablets, PCs, and even TVs, directly through My Files application. Connecting it is very simple. Open My Files application, tap on Storage Share. The available devices will be listed right there, and you can just tap on it to connect it. You will be able to wirelessly access all those files and folders from the other device right there on your Galaxy phone. As far as security is concerned samsung has added something new on theft protection we have got something called failed authentication lock which locks your phone screen after consecutive failed authentication attempts when signing into applications or using other features that require authentication next we can now connect the smart view devices faster for example i have connected a monitor here when i tap on this option you can see we have got this brand new option called add shortcut to home screen when i tap on that i get to edit the shortcut name and tap on open Okay, and tap on add. Now the shortcut is available right here on the home screen. Next time when I want to connect the phone to the smart monitor, I don't really have to begin the whole process again. All I need to do is tap on the shortcut and it will instantly get connected to the monitor. We now have a brand new AuraCast menu. All you need to do is open the quick panel, tap on AuraCast option. You will be welcomed with this beautiful gradient background with media and voice option. You can start media broadcast or your own voice broadcast while wearing your supported headphone. On the home and lock screen, when using a photo of a person or pet as your wallpaper, the screen will be configured with an optimal layout. The clock and widgets on the lock screen will be automatically placed to harmonize well with the selected background photo. Next, when you enable power saving option, you get two different options to choose from, standard and maximum. You can tap on the settings button to customize the standard options and you can also customize the maximum option. So the power saving options have been revamped on the One UI 8.5. There is some improvement in DeX as well. The window size and position of each application are now saved. The next time you open the same application in DeX, it will open at the same location and with the same size as it was last used. And we can also use multiple desktops on DeX on One UI 8.5. And apart from this, we have already discussed about all the new changes and features available on the Samsung stock applications like clock, calendar, internet, reminder, calculator. If you have missed those videos, I will link them up in the description. But let's quickly take a look at what has changed. 
on the clock application, we have got a brand new layout. We have something called time zone converter with a slider at the bottom, which is pretty cool, pretty useful for people who travel around. We've got a brand new layout for the timer and the stopwatch. The Samsung calendar layout has been revamped. We have got some backgrounds now on each day on the calendar, which looks pretty cool. On Samsung internet application, the menu has been redesigned. The layout is completely different. We have got a vertical layout now. And when you go to the recent tab, We've got the floating menu with three options, syncing the tabs with the Samsung internet on the desktop, recent tabs and private browsing. The reminder application has also got some minor changes. We've got a beautiful glow effect in the background and we have got the floating bar at the bottom for adding reminders. And we have a brand new calculator, which has got this beautiful animation, some glowing effect and easily copy and paste option now available on the calculator. If you want the detailed videos for all these applications, I will link them up in the description. Do go ahead and check them out. This is the One UI 8.5 for you guys. We will be deep diving into many other aspects of One UI 8.5 soon, so be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and do not forget to download our wallpaper application volvers almost every day we keep refreshing the wallpapers there are some beautiful collections the download link is in the description go ahead and check it out that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye